up you guys Megan here with another video and today I thought I would talk about how exactly I became a Zumba instructor so if you guys are interested in becoming a Zumba instructor or at least getting your certification then this is exactly how I got mine so first try to identify if this is like really what you want to do because to get certified is actually like quite a lot of money and if you don't really want to completely get certified, if you just want to like teach dance or if you just want to teach like a fitness class that's not Zumba, then I would recommend not getting the certification. I know that like you can still teach at gyms and you can still teach at certain areas without having your Zumba certification as long as you don't call it a Zumba class. And that's something that I first like researched before I wanted to get my Zumba certification just because I didn't want to have to take the like Zumba um, training course, get the certification and then not really have to use it in any way but that's why I did research and I was like okay I think that this is one step that I want to take even if in a year I don't want to like be certified anymore at least like I have this one year to teach actual Zumba and I know some Zumba steps that I can teach so the next step that I took and I would recommend you um, taking if you do want to become an instructor is find a close by um, training session now you can just go to Zumba.com and it should give you a list of all the local training sessions that there are. Um, I honestly had trouble finding one, but like a random one just popped up like in my state. And so I'm lucky that way. Otherwise I would have to like travel to a different state to get that certification. And they only do certain sessions in a year. So if you don't get to do it like that month or that year, then you can always like try again. The next month or the next year but again like I would constantly constantly be checking the local listings for um, Zumba instruction trainings on Zumba.com just so that you can like go ahead and get your certification at the nearest possible place rather than having to travel and I would also really recommend getting an account to Zumba.com this helps in so many ways um, first of all, you will get like email notifications for certain things and you'll be able to sign up for these training sessions. So I would definitely recommend signing up for Zumba.com. Now when you go for your actual training session, you're going to get something called Zin. And that's an optional thing whether you want to like sign up for it or not. But again, that's like completely up to you and you will get a lot more information at your training session. But other than that, I would recommend signing up for actual like Zumba.com. So once you actually like sign up for that and you're ready to go, make sure you're like completely prepared, get as much rest as possible, get a huge breakfast because I can tell you I went to the B1 training and it was a lot of work and um, it was super fun but like you're pretty much going like hardcore. So you want to make sure you get like a good breakfast, take a good lunch, um, get a good night's sleep and yeah, you should be ready. Once you attend the actual training session and you get all your DVDs and all your information from the instructor that is training you to become an instructor, um, make sure to like go through everything before you actually like try to make your own routines and make your own dances for your actual Zumba class. Just because like you want to make sure you're completely like um, ready and you're completely comfortable with doing Zumba in front of people and I for me at least for me, the biggest thing that I had trouble with was queuing, and I think that's probably the hardest thing anyway. Um, you really wanna like practice queuing, and that means that you wanna like in front of the mirror just constantly be like practicing, but you wanna like use all of the techniques that you learn in the training and like again practice like as much as possible. So once you have your certification and you like practice a lot you have all your steps down I would actually start making your routines but I would also sign up for like being able to sub for certain classes that I feel like is the first right step because it's not jumping into anything but it's allowing you to get that exposure once you go ahead and like make your routines and you are on the sub list I would recommend doing a couple classes like subbing in for people who aren't there or um, you know giving give you a chance to just like try out your dance um, routines in class but other than that that's basically how 
I like became an instructor. You guys like want in-depth tips, I can probably like give that to you too. But this was just like an overall rundown of how I became an actual instructor. But um, that's it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy or you did learn something or did help you with your journey in becoming a Zumba instructor, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you want more like Zumba videos, if you want more videos re regarding Zumba instruction. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I do make videos weekly now so you want to make sure you get notified and you know when I post my latest video and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you do want to. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!